It's Brad's Laboratory. I have had this cheap string trimmer I bought from Harbor Freight for about a year. Pulling it out this year to cut some grass along my flower beds, I discovered it was out of string. I purchased some new string and followed the directions for loading it into the spool. As soon as the trimmer motor is activated, the string is extended and cut to nothing. Even though the trimmer was only $25, it seems a waste to discard it. Looking through Amazon, I see a couple of universal replacement heads. There is one that just takes pre-cut pieces of trimmer string, but it requires string thicker than the string I already bought. I decide instead on a head that has hard plastic blades. I think this will last a long time and be less trouble overall. The link to this head will be in the description. Once the package has arrived, I look at the pieces that came with the head that are to make it universal. An assortment of nuts with the outside dimensions the same, but the inside screw threads different. Similarly, the bolts look about the same, but have different threads. This hardware assortment is both metric and standard, as it is designed to fit universally on string trimmers. Several other plastic bits and pieces are provided with the trimmer head, including extra blades. I bought another pack of blades as well to be sure I had them in the future. Now to disassemble the trimmer. Pry off the black plastic decorative cover that hides a the screw. Then there are six screws that must be removed to take the trimmer apart. Taking the trimmer apart is required in order to hold the motor shaft with a 6mm wrench, this allowing the old head to be screwed off. Lefty Lucy. A strap wrench may be required to loosen the head. Now that the old head is off, you can sort through the nuts provided with the new head and find one that fits the thread on the shaft. I believe this thread to be M8. I also see problems with mounting the new head. The old head was spaced off the motor. Trying to fit the new head will crush the head into the plastic motor casing and not allow it to turn. I solved this problem by scrounging a spacer. Then the next problem is that the thread on the motor shaft does not extend far enough down the motor shaft to tighten the nut. I try some of the other bits that come with the head to no avail. This problem will also need to be solved with a spacer. The spacers I scrounged needed modifications. The fatter one was used but cut down to a quarter inch. And a skinnier one was used but I needed to increase the ID to fit over the motor shaft. I am assuming you will not have a stock of spacers so I'm providing a link to an assortment that will work. The two that will be needed from this assortment are the 5mm one the lower spacer, and the 15mm one, the upper spacer. These should not need to be modified as I took measurements and found an M8 assortment. I read the directions while writing the script and noticed that they recommend installing a large fender washer that came with the head between the head and the motor. In this case, it would be between the head and the lower spacer. Once the new head is installed and tightened, I reassemble the trimmer, and the first test went well. I used this trimmer in a light duty application, just trimming around my flower beds in my front yard. The one thing that concerns me is that the old head had fins built into it for cooling the motor. While I do not think this is a problem in my application, if your application is more of a heavy duty application, then this may be a concern for you. This modification has raised the price of the trimmer from $25 to $50. So if you are watching this video and thinking about buying this string trimmer, Know that your budget should be $50 and maybe look at other trimmers in that price range. It's Brad's Laboratory. It's kind of crazy and a little bit weird, but it's gonna be awesome sauce because it's Brad's Laboratory. It's, it's Brad's Laboratory. So grab a spot, you'll learn a lot. Maybe even how to build a robot because it's Brad's Laboratory.